Number 53. From the equilibrium concentrations given, calculate the Ka for each of the weak acids and Kb for each of the weak bases. Then we have letter D. So in this case, they tell us that we're working with C6H5NH3+. And then they tell us at equilibrium, I have the C6H5NH3 plus concentration of 0.233 molarity. We have C6H5NH2 and H3O plus as 2.3 times 10 to the negative 3 molarity. So the question is, are we going to be a weak acid or a weak base? Well, that depends. The key thing here is to look for either you're producing hydronium or hydroxide. Here is hydronium, right? H3O plus or H plus is hydronium. Anytime that you make hydronium in a solution, whoever you started with is going to be an acid. And I kind of can tell that C6H5NH3 plus is an acid because it has a plus charge. Generally, if you see a plus up top here, it's going to be acidic versus maybe negative charges. You could probably bet that sometimes that could be basic. So now we know that we're finding out a Ka value because we have a weak acid. Now let's write out the balanced equation. Remember, all acids and bases are reacting with water. Water is the solvent for acid and base reactions. So I do have to say that C6H5NH3 plus is going to be reacting with water. Now this is not on my list of six strong acids. So I know that there's going to come to equilibrium. That's why I write the double arrows. And remember, the acid always drops a hydrogen. So instead of the three hydrogens here, it's going to turn into two. And that's why they give you this concentration, because that's the conjugate base, C6H5, NH2. And then remember, if this one drops the hydrogen, the H2 has to take it. So this one will go up, H3O. Plus, and that's how you make that hydronium. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write out the concentrations that I have of each. So for my starting material, I got 0 0.233 molarity. And then for both uh, products, I have the same molarity, 2.3 times 10 to the negative third molarity, 2.3 times 10 to the negative third molarity. Now the question is, well, why didn't they give me a molarity for water? Well, re remember, water is a liquid. And from last chapter, no liquids are allowed in any K value, right? When you're doing the K concentrations, right? No liquids or solids. This should be a solid, not a gas. Sorry about that, guys. No liquid and solids allowed. So that's why. Basically, we could just get rid of this and maybe make it look a little better. Maybe drop this down a little bit just to make everything nice and cool. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to use that Ka equation because we're dealing with an acid here. So Ka equals concentration of products divided by reactants. Two products divided by reactants. And remember, when you are or when you have two products, they are multiplied by each other, not added as they are in the equation. So we have C6, H5, NH2 times H3O plus divided by that one reactant, C6, H5, NH3 plus. Now let's write down the numbers. We have molarities for everybody, so we're all good with that. So now I'm just going to write down, okay, here's my three numbers here. 2.3 times 10 to the negative third. 2.3 times 10 to the negative third. And then for the reactant, it's 0 0.233. Okay, Calc's out. Let's find out what that Ka value is. 2.3 times 10 to the negative third times 2.3 times 10 to the negative third divided by 0.233. And two sig figs if we really care about it. So 2.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. And that is the Ka value.
Remember, KAs are not, uh, they're unit less, so they have no units. Um, this is just, you know, to tell you at equilibrium, since this is way lower than one, you are going to have predominantly reactants. And look at the numbers, it's 0.233 as opposed to these small numbers here. So that's me also is a reason why it's a weak acid. Weak acids don't dissociate. They stay generally their acid. And that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.